you have been a linguist, you have been a teacher, you have been a spiritual guide for the people staying here through their festivities, you have conducted seminars in different uh, uh, parts of Europe, uh, you have interacted with all these great teachers, you have been awarded Rajot's Award in 2011 and uh, very recently the member of uh, Royal uh, Society has been conferred upon you by the British government, they are so happy and proud of you. But I am sure to obtain all this, to cover this entire journey over four decades or so, you must have come up with several challenges to be where you are today. Can you kindly throw light on that? Yeah. Uh, I am grateful to you, yeah. but one thing I can say, I am only a student in all these subjects that you mentioned. Yeah. I don't consider myself a scholar, but I am only a student. You are being I, do, I, being I, 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 do, I, I do enjoy. <laughs> I, I must say that I, I shouldn't be uh, you know, lying. I'm, I'm happy that you mentioned this, yeah. but I know what I know. Yes. Sir. And also, I'm a student, whether it's in the field of Sanskrit, yeah. as in the music, as I really enjoy. Right. There was a time when I never used to enjoy an art in classical music. Mm -hmm. The minute I heard Nathan classical music, I used to switch off the radio. <laughs> but today, I really enjoy yes. North Indian classical music as much as I enjoy South Indian classical music. Yeah, yeah, I am very the, interested in in the, the lyrics of our songs. Indeed, indeed. Yes, I am very interested in literature. Yeah. I am very interested in uh, the, 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 the plays that we have here. And I am very interested in all these subjects connected with the Indian art. This, I must thank all my teachers during my MA days. I studied for Sanskrit MA from Mysore University way back in 1975. My special subject was Alankara Shastra wow. or Dhvani. Mm -hmm. So wow. what I studied at that time came handy when I came to London. Indeed. And especially in the Bhavan, almost like, you know, because when I came to Bhavan, whatever I learned there, I was able to make use of that for uh, not only my own benefit, for the benefit of the Bhavan. I have been selfish here and there, I, I, I must say that. But I have been very lucky with all the people who have, with whom I have worked in the past. Today, I am perhaps I'm the senior most amongst all our employees here, because I have been working here at the Bhavan from 1977. From that time, there is no one other than me here in, in the Bhavan. All others have recently joined and all of them have been so good in what they deliver here at the Bhavan. Without the help of all these people, it would not have been possible for me. When we started, it was only uh, uh, to just in a present in the forum of, you know, this is subject in Hindustani music, Carnatic music, etc. A stage came whereby students started asking questions, I want to go higher in this field. Mm -hmm. How can you help us? What? That's when we started diploma courses. Diploma course when we started, one year, two year, three year, three years, finished just like that. And afterwards we had to think, what do we do? 
then we started post diploma one and then post diploma two after what mm. there is no answer so then we started conducting advanced classes beyond that we had to tell them we do not have any facilities for you to go beyond this but the only thing we can do is during summer school time you can attend our classes and also you can have individual tuitions with these teachers True. so that you can go a little higher True. and those of you who want even more we can recommend teachers in india who will certainly honor our request so that you could go and learn at their feet but the challenge has been you know to be able to quench the thirst of vidya for vidya of all these students here and we want to make sure that our courses that we conduct here at the bhavan get recognized by the local government wow. and students are able to use these to be able to go higher in whatever they feel they want to continue the studies in schools and colleges this is our intention hopefully in a year or two um, uh, even this we would be able to achieve hopefully with the help of you know like our anvis here stella is here candida lot of people in the field of education they are working how to get the kind of recognition that is required for the bhavan to be able to say that yes this course is recognized locally wow. until that time all our examinations are conducted by the bhavan london bhavan with a kind of recognition or support or blessings by our bhavan back in india that's what we have been doing so you have been very modest erudite and also polite to say that uh, you are a student i totally agree with you uh, i can draw a parallel to what my param guru bhim singh ji said in a different context uh, he was getting ready for a concert he tuned both the tan for us and if there is anything that is that speaks absolute truth it is well tuned tanpura human voice can go here and there so after tuning the tanpura guru ji said you know pa idr mundi na bai bidakollo gavri aagtade so he said i have to open my voice and mouth in front of this well tuned tanpura man i am a little nervous now so that's what he said and uh, yeah uh, matching with that the incident uh, you quoted yourself to a student we admire and respect that Uh, notwithstanding that part of it sir uh, you also must be finding uh, i also notice you you visit every class when it is going through which composition is being taught and how the students are performing you take note of every smallest detail along with that you create an atmosphere of festivity here the children come with joy the parents come their lunch packed or you arrange for lunch here all the teachers are together uh, exchanging thoughts and you you virtually on the madhuve martha ge on the madhuve sambhram it's almost like celebrating a, a huge marriage uh, through uh, education and through gurukula no. so how how did you conceive all this and no i tell you i think the arranging all these things is a part of our responsibility our duty when we invite yeah. artists it's our duty to take care of them Indeed. from the day they arrive until they leave that's part of any institutions i feel if i invite any artist True. from the day they arrive until they leave i have to make sure that they are comfortable here we are not a rich institute so whatever we provide is very simple uh, uh, provisions for them a room for them to stay and simple food vegetarian food that we could afford coming to the classes etc because i enjoy i want them to feel that we are all happy with what you are doing and even when i come to the class i want to be there in such a way that i do not disturb yes, them so because you are conducting that when i come there out of respect me you want to stop i don't want you to stop yes it's not my intention to disturb the classes i am not doing any favor to anybody sure. no teacher should feel that i am doing a favor to in reality they are doing a favor Point. to us we invite you because you are specialists in those fields we are lucky to find such wonderful people who will come and accept our uh, simple token amount and be of great help to our students so this is i consider it it's as my duty the other thing i forgot to mention is when you mentioned about the recognition i got from british government yeah. from uh, the king is i i feel the work of the bhavan 
has been recognized yeah. like this recognition. Beautiful. What Bhavan has been doing over the past 50 years, that work got recognized through this award. That's what I feel. Yeah. Me, I am the director here, so my name appears. But in reality, it's a recognition given to the work that we are all doing in the field of Indian art and culture. Sir, it's very challenging and essential uh, for you to see that uh, all the veteran gurus, they come from different parts of the country. And the students who are almost born and brought up here, some are even non-Indians, to build a beautiful bridge between them with regard to their communication and exchange of art forms. So how do you manage this nice uh, situation and challenge? It's not very easy. It's not very difficult also, but it's all in the hands of our teachers. We entirely depend on them because we can't go to their classes and tell them what they need to do. In general, in our meetings, we talk to them saying that it's our responsibility to make sure that our art is taken to the next generation. Yeah. How it has to be done, you will have to experiment with your students. Unless you are able to communicate to them, they will be there today, tomorrow they will disappear. They may come for one year, two years, three years, they may come and afterwards they disappear also. It's a big loss. So you will have to adopt a method by which you are able to capture them at an intellectual level. See, what is important is not just talking there in the class and telling them you have to do this or forcing them to do something. No. At an intellectual level, if you are able to convince them, then they will stay with us. Not only they stay, they will bring more people as well. It's very important for artists to be able to communicate to the students in whatever language. I don't say that English is so very essential. Yes, it is necessary, especially in a land like UK. Yeah. The language that everybody speaks here is English. So it's uh, very uh, uh, much you know, required for you to be able to communicate with them. But if you are a very good artist, even if you don't speak good English, is also okay. But gradually, in order to make sure this younger generation comes to our classes, will understand what is required of them, will understand what we are interested in, especially in the field of our art, we will not succeed. It has been a kind of, you know, a challenge. Uh, almost like I can say an adventure in faith as well. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, uh, and we will succeed in this. Hopefully our people will support by sending their children because uh, making sure the children go and attend these courses at least once a week is not a big sacrifice. Yeah. At the end of five years, if they look back, and if they you know, uh, realize that children have learned so much, they feel happier than otherwise. And in the life of children, 10 years, 15 years will go just like that. Afterwards, rather than regretting, I wish I had taken them to a place where they could have learned more about art and culture. It's better to do it now. Little bit of sacrifice today is worth a million later and I feel the greatest wealth one can give to their children is the wealth of our art, wealth of our wisdom, wealth of our samskara. This once it is transferred to the next generation, our art, our culture, our heritage will automatically become stronger. Dear Dr. Nagaraj Rao Havaldarji, I must express my sincere gratitude to you for giving me an opportunity to express what I have experienced here as part of the Bhavan in London. But I must thank you uh, not only for this, but you have been visiting Bhavan uh, during the past few years, you have come to us on several occasions earlier to give a concert and then to conduct a short workshop 
and during the past four or five years, you have come here as our summer school teacher. I'm privileged. Each time you have organized yourself to be able to reach out to our students in a very special way, in a better way, because you are a scholar. You know what needs to be done. Every time you have learned from your previous experience what it takes for us to make sure that each and every student who comes here becomes happy. So what was there in, during your first visit, you have improved upon that one during second visit. And this time, and especially I must mention to you, your concert was so very special. And I, I, as I was watching you, I remembered your guru, Bharat Ratna Pandit Bhim Sen Joshi Ji, and also your revered guru, Pandit Madhav Gudi Ji. So we are very grateful to you for coming here. And I must thank our Chandrima Ji for suggesting your name to come here as our summer school teacher. Thank you, we wish you all the best. Thank you, sir. In turn, I would like to thank you, your good self, uh, and Chandrima ji and Rajkumar ji for inviting me for the third time, and also being able to work as a family towards the welfare of our students on the one side, to impart our art on the other side. So it has been a great journey. Thank we also take it upon as a socio-cultural responsibility to impart our art forms to these people. Yes. We sincerely thank you, sir. I uh, look forward to your continued association you. and support. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you all for joining this series. Hoping to see you back very soon and join us for more such episodes and anecdotes. Thank you.